Hi, we have uh, something like an unexpected sunny day here in the Central Europe. So I thought it's a good idea to have the outdoor version of the INAF news. Mm, not something that's very happening very often on this channel, but since probably we will cut the next release candidate for the version in October. October? Yes, in October, so more or less in the next uh, few weeks. I think it's time to let you know what will change in the INAF 2.3 and which kind of new features you might expect. First of all, probably we will finally have the ESC tele telemetry. Not the bi bi-directional D-shot yet, but the regular uh, bi ESC telemetry using the separate wire connected to one of the of the serial ports. Just let's say like a one year old uh, or two year, no, one year old uh, beta flight. Uh, nothing really very fancy, not sure if the RPMs yet, uh, but voltage and current should be taken, should be, a we should be able to take this from the, uh, from the ESCs. Next, uh, there will be some changes in the logic conditions. Mm, we will. I'm, I'm. I'm. I know that not too many people, besides me, are using logic conditions, but this is doable. We're gonna have the new conditions, and on top of that, we're gonna have the global functions, which will allow to activate certain features on the on the UAV, depending on the values on the logic conditions. This means that uh, currently we have implemented the. Throttle, throttle scaling. Uh, also, oh, yeah, throttle scaling also will be available in the INF 2.3. Throttle scaling based on the logic conditions and global functions. Uh, disabling the extra arming safety, VTX power, and swapping roll and yaw, which is kind of a must for the uh, tail seater, tail seater VTOL uh, UAVs, which. <laughs> I don't want to say they are coming, but they are with INF 2.3. They will be one more time, one step closer to to being implemented. On top of that, on top of that, probably we also have the support for the upcoming FR Sky graphical OSD. And uh, oh yeah, oh yeah, two things that uh, should uh, make. Uh, multi-rotor users quite happy because a we're gonna have the anti-gravity not the direct port from the beta flight but uh, implementation slightly changed implementation of the uh, anti-gravity from beta flight and finally 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 i have ported the uh, dynamic filters uh, to INAV. So starting from 2.3 there will be a dynamic, there will be an option because by default it will be probably off. There will be option to enable dynamic notches on gyro signal separately on roll pitch yo uh, with the latest changes in beta with two notches separated slightly that in theory should be great. It's not the RPM filter because we do not have the option to get the data from the ESCs yet, but it's let's say one step further. I also today made some tests on the of the dynamic filters and the results on something bigger than the 5 inch are really very 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 promising. On the 5 inch it was yeah maybe maybe something changed, but on both 7 inches that I tested today it was whoa what happened? The squat never really worked that smoothly under the INAV. So yes, it is probably kinda kinda good thing that this finally is here, which will result in the smoother flight, uh, longer flight, less heat on the motors, higher efficiency, and, and uh, all the goodies like that. On top of that, there also will be a few changes in the INAV configurator because I finally decided to clean up slightly the tabs on the configurator and instead of two tabs, motors and servos, in 2.3 there will be only one tab called the... Uh, how is it? Called outputs, yes, because outputs, because motors and servos are really outputs of the, of the of the configurator. There will be no more the graph, but instead we will be giving you to be able to balance the propellers and motors, the root mean square on the vibration, current, current, and uh, current voltage. I think, yeah, and probably also some options will be migrated from the configuration tab to the outputs tab to let's say make 
put them in the place where they belong. Um, okay, I think that's all for today. I'm going back flying with the fancy 7-inch dynamic filterings, which is really great. Yes, I love it. I love it. I love it. Until the next one. Bye-bye.